Hey, I want to share with you some things that I'm learning from this book. You are a badass at making money. It's a really good book. I've um, heard from other coaches for years that this is one of the top books. If you want to make money, um, this is the book to read. And so I've been reading it. It's really good. And I want to share some of the things that I'm learning in it. So I'm Evie. I am a mindset coach and my main mission, main goal is to guide people, lead people and journey with people who are learning to live happily even after things in life didn't turn out the way they wanted. So if you are in life, you're over 40, over 50 and you're thinking my life is over my children have moved on. I'm an empty nester. I'm divorced after decades of marriage. I'm stuck in a dead end job. Any of those thoughts, if you've had them, then I can help you. I want to let everybody know that there is life even after things don't turn out the way you thought they would. My life turned out completely 100% different than what I ever could have imagined. So, I now help people, I journey with people, I lead and guide people out of the ruts that we get stuck in and help them discover their very best life. I'm here to tell you that if you're at a place in your life, even if you're younger than 40 or 50, but specifically because I am 53, about to be 54, and I know that at this point in my life, I'm at a completely different place than I ever imagined I would be, but things are great. I'm doing things I never thought I would, and I'm living my very best life. Things that could have taken me down didn't. I'm not going to let them because I still have a lot of good life, great life left to live. So um, I am divorced. I divorced after 26 years of marriage. My ex-husband had three affairs. Yes, three. And yes, I stayed. I was the one who was going to make that marriage work. You know what I just recently found out? One person cannot make a two-person marriage work. It's not possible. If only one person's working on it, it can never work. It'll always be lopsided. So if you're divorced after decades of marriage, if uh, you are in a job that you thought, I, this is going nowhere. I've been here for 20 or 30 years and there's nowhere to go from here. I'm here to tell you that's not true. There is still good life after all of those things. Not only did those things happen to me of a divorce after 26 years and three affairs, my third son passed away from cancer two years after my divorce. Uh, was final and um, he was 17 years old. When he passed away, my sons were 17, 18, and 19 years old. And so I became an empty nester. I went from a homeschool mom to an empty nester in a snap. So my life drastically changed. So I could have laid on the floor or crawled up in bed and not been able to get out. But I knew that wasn't what I wanted to do. Even though my third son passed away, I still had two other sons that were living and I wanted to show them and be the very best role model for them. And I wanted to show them that even when things in life happen that you don't plan for, that you don't want, you can still move forward and make a difference. When my ex-husband was having an affair, he actually, on the third affair, he left and he was living with the other woman. And I was so sad that there were days, many days, too many days, that I thought I can't keep going. 
can't. This is too painful. And I thought in my own mind, I just made this up, that there was no other thing that could happen other than him coming back. And I thought I could never love another man. I can never find someone else. I mean, y'all, I was in the pits. My mind was in the pits. My mind was focused on my situation as it was. And I'm here to tell you, if you're in a situation that's painful, hurtful, you're not going anywhere. And every day you are in pain and dealing with the difficulties. There is a way out. There is a way out. And the key is your mindset. That's it. And I help ladies and some men every single day change their mindset. When you change your mindset, you change your life. And that's kind of what she's talking about in this book. And so if you are going through anything like what I just mentioned, click the link below, find me, connect with me. I do coaching on an individual basis. I do group coaching. I do individual coaching. There are several different ways that we could connect, several different things that you could um, participate in if you want uh, help moving on from a situation that, like what I just mentioned. So I'm going to get to this book. It, um, and I'm going to kind of read just a little bit of the introduction to see if you're interested. If you are, pick up the book. I'm going to be doing a, a study on it, uh, reviewing it and sharing what I learned. So it says, if you're ready to make money, you can. Isn't that good news? Like, I'm like, okay, I was a public school teacher before I had my children. I was a public school teacher after my son left and friends. There's not a lot of money in that at all. And so it wasn't just about the money. I did love my students, but I didn't love the curriculum. And of course the pay is really really low but we need good teachers out there um she says i don't care how many times you've tried and failed or if you're so broke that you're selling bodily fluids just to get around i'm paraphrasing some of this and she says that even though she was 40 years old when she started and she had been broke and she had debt she came out of it um she said there's nothing horribly wrong if you haven't figured it out yet money is one of the most loaded topics out there we love money hate money obsess over money ignore money resent money hoard money crave money bad mouth money money is rife with so much desire and shame and weirdness it's a wonder that we uh, can ever even utter the word above a whisper so she goes on to say the good news is if you're like most people you have a troubled and conflicted relationship with money but you do have the ability to transform it and become such awesome pals with money that you wake up one day and find yourself standing in the middle of the life that you've always wanted to live and you can start making this change right now all you need to do is see what's holding you back and make new powerful choices to focus on and she goes on to say um, that even if you are broke you can do it no matter how hopeless you may feel right now because she knew when she wrote this book, zero, well, what she's telling about, she knew zero things about making money until she was in her 40s. Her 40s, that's the age most people have their savings and their college funds uh, saved up and own their home and, you know, have um, bank accounts and savings accounts and different things. She said she possessed the most barren bank account and uh, she was known by a few collection agencies, right? And so anyway, she goes to tell the things that she did that were kind of um, what she's calling like crazy, you know, 
saving and scrimping and um, she says filling her pockets with anything that was free, um, walking blocks and flip-flops to save money on a valet parking and using duct, duct tape to fit, fit repair things. And um, so many things that we do. I'm, I'm pausing here because I'm thinking of how many things that I did when I was raising my children. I was on a very limited income. Um, I was thankful for it because I did get to stay home and teach my children um, and homeschool and they loved it. We loved it. I loved it. It was great. And um, we were really super, even more appreciative of it when my third son passed away. So anyway, I'm going to stop this now because I try to keep my videos short and so that you can watch it and see what you need to see. But if you are over 40 and your finances are not where you want them to be, I'm going to be reviewing this book to show you how you can, even after 40, begin to make money. There are things out there, if you're like me, you had no idea. I was married to an educator. Um, my family, they were on a fixed income also, me growing up. Single mom, single income. I'm married to an educator, which is a, a fixed income. For 30 years, he basically made the same thing. And that's what I lived off of. And I think we probably qualified for food stamps. I didn't have them, but um, very limited income. I raised my sons on it. Um, so anyway, there's a way out. There's a difference. What if you at 40 or 50 or 60 began to make money you never, ever even ever dreamed you could but because you listen to this because you get new information things change in your life and that's what's going to happen follow me if you want to connect with me and coach with me personally and privately that's great if um if you want to keep keep watching and stay tuned to see the rest of the book review and how you can begin to make money even after 40 when you thought this is it. I'm stuck here in this job. It's not the truth. There are great things out there. And I will be back with more tips and a review of this book and show you how you can make money, even if you have no idea how. Tune in next time. So hit, hit subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification so you can get notified when the next ones come out. See you next time. Connect with me, friend. Bye.